believe or not, Sri Lakti has managed to turn his poor life just like a miracle. He was also a close friend to Andy Warhol. He, who was a being artist at a very, very young age. Who is the guy that I have mentioned? Make sure you guys watch this video until the end. John Michael Basquiat, or better known as Basquiat, is a painter who managed to break the record as one of the most expensive paintings sold in America in 2017. His painting in 1982, untitled, was sold for 110.5 million. That is a huge amount of money. He was an American artist who rose to success during the 1980s as part of the Neo-Expressionism movement. He also performed his other artworks. Basquiat was born on 22 December 1916 at hospital in Brooklyn, New York. Basquiat is the eldest of his siblings. His father was Gerard Basquiat and his mother were Mathilda and Dragas. Mathilda has a deep interest in fashion design and sketching. The young Basquiat already began to show his interest in art. He draws based on cartoons such as Alfred in Newman and comic books on paper that his father brings home from accounting firm. Mathilda trained and supported his son's interests with spend her time grow with Basquiat. Mathilda abused by her husband and end up needing hospital treatment. While Mathilda was in the hospital, she still took Basquiat to art museums such as Brooklyn Museum. He even got a membership of Brooklyn Museum at very very young age. In 1969, Basquiat got hit by a car while playing a basketball at the street. He was then treated in hospital for a month. Basquiat received a copy of Gray's Anatomy from his mother. In that year, there was also a divorce between their parents. Basquiat and his sibling lived with his father. In 1976, Basquiat studied at Edward Arboro High School. Here, he found a new friend, Aldias, who is a graffitist. They become a close friends and were among the first artists to collaborate. After Basquiat reached the age of 17, he first became involved in the art world with his friend Aldias. They began to spray paint with cryptic hidden statements and symbols throughout Lower Manhattan. In 1977, Basquiat involved with an Upper West Side drama group called Family Life Theatre. He has created a fictional character known as Semo who makes a living by selling fake religion. He and Aldias are very popular in his group. They are both very creative and also have various abilities to face any problem. He and Aldias started collaborating on the same project. They started spray painting on the coats on the train of the IND line and around Lower Manhattan. This hilarious, profound and rebellious declaration has been strategically spread throughout the area and managed to attract the attention of the public. After knowing this good news, Basquiat has identified himself as the producer of the work. They then took advantage of Semo by selling their own shirts, postcards, and also playing clubs with the avant-garde bands. In 1978, Basquiat left home even though Gerard was a little less convinced but he gave him permission and money thinking that his son would be a better person. When he reached the age of 21, he began to paint and work in the field of art full time. Little by little, the improvements are happening. Basquiat mixed up his artwork with various materials he had found on the street. Among the things he used are wood, oil sticks, crayons, spray painting, and pencil. 
the codes he used were based on menus, comic books that were always open in his studio. He always keeps his reference source open and does multiple artwork at a time. The unique canvas produced by him has caught the eye of the audience. Even though his audience is on the rise, Basquiat still strives to portray challenging theme. One day, he saw his iconic artist, Andy Warhol, entering a restaurant. He walked and entered the restaurant carrying some postcard of his art with him. He met Andy Warhol and introduced himself. Basquiat also proposed to sell some of his postcard artwork to Andy Warhol. From here, Andy Warhol began to find something unique and interesting in Basquiat. They started to collaborate on the film Downtown 81. Become the main character in the film, but it was abandoned due to a financial problem and the movie was released on 2010. In the film, he was also required to draw a work of art that was actually made by himself. Then, he moved in with his lover at the time, Suzanne Malik, who supported Basquiat a lot financially. A year after that, he was in New York, New Wave Show. More than 100 artists participated and only he was given space to join the shows. He presented 20 of his artwork in the last room. A woman who was interested in his artwork offered the basement of her gallery as a studio for Basquiat as he needed a place to do his artwork. He is able to complete two or three artwork in just a few days. In March 1982, when Basquiat was 21, that is his solo shows in Anina. His artwork were all successful, so and earned a total of $200,000 in one night. Directly, he has become one of the youngest artists. One afternoon, a Swiss art dealer set up a lunch for Basquiat and Andy Warhol. Basquiat can stay for lunch and come back after one hour with the portrait he drew of him and Andy Warhol. From here, their friendship grew closer. Andy Warhol loved Basquiat as if he were his own son. This duo teamed up in 1985 and presented their artwork in Soho. But they received a lot of negative feedback, one of which was saying that Andy Warhol only used Basquiat to stay in the latest trends. Finally, Basquiat left the New York in depression and bad luck. When Andy Warhol died one week ago, Basquiat said that he had no chance to repair his relationship with Andy. He seems to be alone. On 12 August 1988, his last girlfriend Kelly received a call from Basquiat's friend Kevin to invite him to an RMC concert. She went up the stairs to the bedroom and saw Basquiat was sleeping. She didn't want to disturb his sleep. Then, Kevin called after 3 hours. She went up again the stairs to go to Basquiat's bedroom. She was surprised to see that he was no longer alive. John Michael Basquiat was confirmed died at the age of 27 on 12 August 1988 due to a heroin overdose. Throughout the history of his life, he has produced as many as 600 art paintings, 1,500 art paintings that can still provide inspiration to artists nowadays. We are at the end part of this video. Thank you so